Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I can't explain how happy I am to finally be in front of the camera again. I know it's been so long and I'm so sorry, but I'm back and that's all that matters, right? So today I'm not gonna be doing any makeup or talking makeup or anything. Today's gonna be more of an I'm back video and update you on why I stopped filming video. Basically, just an update video. So yeah, it's pretty obvious that I have been gone for a little while and I do wanna give you guys a little bit of explanation as to why I kind of started filming and then I just disappeared. <laughs> like no explanation, no nothing. I just went poof, vanished like fucking magic. Basically, I just wasn't in the right headspace, in the right environment um when i started making videos i thought i was ready i thought i had basically everything that i needed to start making videos i thought i was in the right um mental space i thought i was in the right environment like i thought it was the right time but i soon figured out that it was not the right time mentally i just wasn't there the environment wasn't right um i was living in a place where i just it, it wasn't home, you know, and I wasn't comfortable and I just, I didn't want to film. I was going through a lot of anxiety. I was going through a lot of depression at the time that I started trying to film. And yeah, I just quickly realized now is not the right time. So I decided that it was best for me to stop and kind of try to work on myself and try to work on, um, my current situation at the time and focus on changing it so that is exactly what i did so i'm sure you guys can already tell that i am in a completely different place this is not the same background as my first two videos i did get my own apartment just me by myself my own place finally i had moved out before like years ago when i turned 18 and um but at that time i had a roommate and y'all, if y'all want a story time on that, let me know because I got a lot of shit to talk about that. Yeah, so since I moved to Boston, this is my first place on my own and I am super excited about that. I feel like since I finally moved into this apartment and I've been by myself, I've been more at peace. My anxiety has subsided substantially. Um, my depression has gotten a lot better. I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret. When I was where I used to be earlier this year, I used to cry every single day, like no cap. And it wasn't because I was scared or sad or whatever. I was just uncomfortable. Like I missed being in a place that I could call home. And that wasn't, it wasn't home. And I'm not gonna get into too much detail about it. Actually, I'm not gonna go into detail at all because it's not even worth talking about. But it just, it wasn't, it just wasn't home. And it made me very stressed out, constantly just stressed out. And I felt like I was surrounded by demons everywhere. And yeah, now that I'm in my own space, I feel like this is my little my little sanctuary. I am so much happier, like 100 times happier. And I finally have the space to film and to be myself and talk about whatever I want and not worry about anybody else other than me and my girlfriend who comes over and visits me because she doesn't live with me yet. But she will soon, hopefully. So yeah, that's one little update on why I've been gone. Well, that's actually the main reason that I have been gone. It's just I wasn't in the right in place physically or mentally. And now I finally feel like I'm ready to come back and I'm excited. Also, just on the topic about um, my mental health and anxiety and things like that, that is something that I've struggled with my entire life. It runs in my family and it sucks. 
and if you guys do want me to make a separate video on that i would love to go in depth about it because i feel like it's one of those things that a lot of people can relate to but not a lot of people bring light to it um there's also a big chunk of people that don't fully understand it i've been that's kind of been a problem that i've been having with my girlfriend sometimes is like she doesn't fully understand when i have my episodes and they're not bad episodes i don't go around raging and throwing shit and acting crazy i just that's not that's not really what it is um an episode for me is waking up and realizing that i just i can't and i will stay in bed all day and I will cry, I will sleep, I will cry, I will sleep, and I don't want anybody to call me, I don't want anybody to talk to me, I don't want anybody to look at me, it's, that's an episode, and so like we're, we're working on it, um, she does try very hard to try and understand it, and to try to cater to me, or to try to leave me alone when it happens, so like although she doesn't fully understand 100%, she does try to understand so we're working on that it is something that's been hard to deal with and one of my main ways of treating it was i would smoke weed yes i smoke weed but um i am getting surgery so i had to quit about a month ago and i'm not gonna lie since i quit it has been um it's been a little difficult but it has been getting easier as the days go on. In the beginning, oh my god, I was such a bitch. I was always in a bad mood. Because I would, usually when I'm in a funk, I'll smoke and then I'll feel better after that. I'll be like, why was I even mad to begin with? But being that I had to stop, I would get upset. And I didn't have that to fall back on to make me feel better. So I just had to thug it out and find other ways to cope with it. Another thing that I would do to cope with it is I would do my makeup because that was very therapeutic for me or is very therapeutic for me. And I would edit photos because that's also therapeutic for me. So I would try to do that. Then it got to the point where I was losing motivation to even do my makeup. I was losing motivation to edit. I was losing motivation to do anything, like anything. And I just didn't, just got stuck. But as time has gone on, it's gotten a lot easier and trust me, moving into my own space has helped tremendously. Like, it's just me. If I'm upset, I can just go to my room where I could just lay on my couch and I can just drown in my own sorrows until I feel better. <laughs> um, so it's definitely, helped me a lot and I finally do feel like I am I'm in a good a good mental state and I'm very happy about that now I know you guys are wondering bitch surgery <laughs> what fucking surgery <laughs> it's funny because I told one of my good friends I was like I'm getting surgery and she's like surgery Ponte Vixie, yeah. <laughs> but yeah that was, I just thought about that that was mad funny but yeah, I'm getting surgery actually. I don't know if you guys have noticed, I have this little band on me because I was at my pre-op appointment today. Your girl has gotten a little thick within the last year or so. Um, I've always fluctuated with my weight my whole life, but I always stayed between um, like 150 and 190. My whole entire life, I've always stayed right between there. Within the last year and a half though, since I moved back to Boston, I completely exceeded that 190 like by a long shot i don't know how well i mean obviously i've been fucking eating but yo i went from 190 to 250 in the blink of an eye like it holy shit right 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 so yeah your girl got a little too thick and it's something that like i said i've struggled with my whole life and i feel like it's gotten to the point where it feels like it's impossible for the weight to go away now i've tried so many different diets i've tried so many different workouts and personal trainers and all this stuff and it's like it's just stubborn weight it won't go anywhere i've, I've 
cross the line I'm like way off so um I made the decision to go ahead and get weight loss surgery so in two weeks yeah about two weeks December 30th to be exact I will be undergoing gastric sleeve surgery and yes I am extremely nervous but I'm also very excited to start a brand new life, start a brand new healthy life. I know that if I keep going down this path that I'm on with all this weight that I'm carrying, that it's not gonna get better. Um, I'm not diabetic now, but it'll come, right? So I, I don't want that. I wanna be healthy and eventually I do want kids. I do want a family. I wanna be around for a long time and i just feel like for me personally it's the right decision and yeah so that's what's coming within the next couple of weeks so in a few months you're gonna see me start to get a little little slimmer a little slimmer in my videos and that is why so i was also thinking that i could also keep you guys updated on my journey through my weight loss surgery as well if you guys are interested in that yeah, that's what's coming up within the next couple of weeks. Big life change for myself. I also did get a new tattoo over the summer. I got this here, which is a Japanese lucky hammer. Basically a good luck charm. Um, also, let me know if you guys want me to make a video showing you guys all my tattoos because as you can see, I have a lot. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll definitely, I would love to go over every single one of my tattoos and what they mean to me and why I got the pain levels, things like that. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. I know y'all probably been looking at these little, <laughs> these little hands here. In my last videos, I had my nails done. I always have my nails done. Let me tell you, I always have them done. But I recently decided that it was time for a break. It was like two, three years where I was getting my nails done back to back to back to back with no break, like acrylics, long ass acrylics, back to back. And I started to notice that they were really messing up my nails. And yeah, I decided it's time for a break. I'm gonna go nail this for a little while. It hurts. <laughs> it's so painful because, oh my God. Look at them, I have little tiny hands. They have like little salchichas. But I just, I had to do it. My girlfriend the other day, she was like, babe, as um, a Christmas gift, do you want me to pay for you to go get your nails done? And I'm like, uh-uh, you stop right there. You stop right there. Because if I go get these nails done, I'm gonna hop back into the routine of getting my nails done over and over and over again. And I need to stick to this break. <laughs> my nails need to heal. I was, it's also really expensive. I was spending like, like one to 150 a month on just my hands not even including my toes just my hands i used to do my nails every two to three weeks but i had to push it out to about four to five weeks because it was so expensive so um definitely saving money now but i do look forward to getting them done again i told myself that for the winter i would take a break and then when spring comes then they're just on and popping these nails is getting done but yeah, that basically wraps up this video. I just really wanted to update you guys on my disappearance and where I went and where I'm at now and what's to come in the future. From here on now, I will definitely be more proactive with filming videos. I might um, steer away from makeup for a little while because it is winter time here in Boston and my skin has been breaking out in eczema. I don't know if you guys can notice already, but like, all here it's eczema my hand is full of eczema um let me zoom you guys into my face if you can see here on my eyelid eczema like oh here too right here like i'm breaking out so i'm probably not gonna do a lot of makeup stuff for now but i will be doing like story times and things like that i appreciate you guys for tuning in and like always Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe, share my video, tell your friends about it. 
drop a comment down below letting me know what else you would like to see and yeah thank you guys for the support and thanks for watching guys